loaded up in mock. We've got the three quarter inch plywood end pieces designed for the stepper motors on the X axis. And to cut these out, we're using the thick plywood on this 3040 CNC. And this is pretty heavy for this little machine. The only way this will really work is I've done a modification to hold a regular router. There's another video on that change. But we've got this clamp down and we'll get going on this. Temporarily I have the 3D printed dust collector which works really really well. And since I'm in the process of building the bigger CNC machine, this arrangement is just kind of temporary as that goes into that vac there. But it works much better than I thought it would. So let's get this going and get these pieces cut out. Really pushing the limits on this small CNC. So I'm hanging off the edge here. I want to try to save as much of that three quarter inch plywood as I can and still cut out these longer end pieces. This is a dust shoe that was designed. And again, there's another video on that. And this is just attached with magnets. So it just snaps up. For my needs, I found this to be the best clamping mechanism. I've got a sacrificial piece of three-quarter inch ply here that is bolted to the CNC deck with recessed bolts. And then I just screw down whatever I'm working on. So the tab's held pretty well. You can kind of see, we've got a tab right through there, and two right through there. And I found the easiest way to cut these off, I've got a couple others around here, is this little gourd saw. Very convenient. Works out really well. Those are the two end pieces for the back side. Came out nice and clean, very neat. And the nice thing about the CNC is they're absolutely identical. So the next phase is to cut out two for this side. And I may use slightly thinner plywood for those two sides because they don't need the support that the other ends do with the steppers. And this is the slightly thinner plywood for the other side on the CNC. This shows the four pieces cut out with a CNC, the thick end pieces, the three quarter inch, and then the thinner, I think, three eighths inch for this stuff. Very clean cuts. Everything is identical. It's the beauty of the CNC stuff. That's with the four brackets all attached that we cut out on the small CNC. We've got the slightly thinner plywood here for the bearings, and we'll use either some cutting board or some other stock to hold the bearing there. We've got the thicker ply on this side for the stepper motors, and this is nice and rock solid. The holes were made a little bit larger, so we've got some adjustment. I like lots of wiggle room, lots of adjustment when tightening this thing up. For the threaded rod, actually I used Acme Rod and I ordered this online. Got a really good deal on this from T-Mart. Took about a month to get here, but all of my rods were about $60. And that comes with, with the nuts also. So this should work a whole lot more smoothly, a lot tighter than just threaded rod from the hardware store. 
So, making progress. Thanks very much for taking a look.